The Hinderer Project X. While Project X sounds like a cheesy sci-fi movie or something, the knife is actually pretty good. Hey YouTube, POV Knives coming at you with another review. Here we have the Hinderer Project X. And while the name, let's be honest, is stupid, the, kni <laughs> the knife is really good. So this knife kind of strikes me as Rick Hinderer's response to maybe a little criticism for his designs not sticking with the times. So, you know, people, people have said, not this person, but people, that Rick Hinderer's designs have not evolved since he invented the over-travel stop. And this knife has an over-travel stop, but it has a shit ton of other features in a way that is almost a, uh, an F you to the criticism <laughs> of Rick Hinderer not being able to make modern knives. Let's just look at the lines at first. Very modern with variable size hardware. Lots of things that people have criticized Rick for not doing, such as milling the titanium side of the scales, as you can see here on my stonewash bronze version. No finger choil, flipper only, which I know some of you guys won't like, but let's be honest, if you own a hinderer, you're using the flipper. It has what appears to be an internal stop pin which is gonna be really hard to show on camera, but basically there's a track there in the blade with the pin inside and it locks up with that pin. So notice you don't have the typical pin like you would have on other Hinderer models. This is my standard uh, 3.5 XM18 spear point, which we will be compares, comparing this knife to. And you know, even with all that modernness, the really cool trapped, um, not for the pivot, for lack of a better word. So you gotta realize he had to mill that hole in the shape of that nut in order to get that to stay there. Um, modern steel, S45VN, not only all of those features, but still the triway pivot, still the aftermarket scales that you can get from Rick's website or his dealers. He milled in here, right? So like doing all the things that people have criticized him for in the past, but then he went a step further. He's like, I'm gonna get those dudes. I'm gonna embed the tool to take apart the knife in the knife. So what you may have thought was a standard backspacer is actually, and it's easier without gloves. I'm gonna be honest here up front. Oh, first try. Here you have the tool to take apart the knife within the knife. And if you, you know, want to open a beer in the meantime, you got a bottle opener, right? It's perfect. It's the design of this is ingenious. The spring pushes right against this barrel spacer. And then in this little bottle opener looking part, it just pushes back clicks right in. I mean, it is, it is amazing. I love that there's no finger choil. You have a big knife, just like the XM18 is a fairly big knife, and you got all the blade to play with. I don't need to choke up. If I needed to choke up, I'd carry a smaller knife. I love the fact that there is no finger choil. The action, standard Rick Hinderer, it's great. The performance of the knife when cutting is amazing. It is a great, larger, heavy use EDC knife. I fully recommend it. They're hard to get. It's probably Hinderer's hottest model right now for good reason, just because it's newer and it's got all these features. I mean, it just blew me away. This is truly a great knife and it is a huge FU to those people that said that Hinderer was behind the times. So let's get our size comparison going. Again, up against the 3.5 inch spear point XM18. You can see that it's bigger. I wish I had an XM24 to compare because I think that this would be close or a little smaller than an XM24, but unfortunately I don't have one currently. 
And then we'll break out our standards. We have our Spyderco Pair 3, our full-size Benchmade Osborne. And are we gonna have room, a little bit of room, ugh, for the standard bug out? So as you can see, big blade for big work and just awesome modern features. It truly is an FU to those who have criticized Rick Hinderer because he did all the things and then some. So I'm gonna ask you guys again, if you like the content, if you like the channel, subscribe. Many of you that watch this channel do not subscribe. And if this channel is gonna stick around, I need people to do that. And I'll see you in the next.